Hello and welcome to SIBO Volatility 411 for Friday. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. Well, we got an unemployment report this morning. Uh, I guess, depending on how you look at it, a good, bad number. Uh, SPX is higher on this number. SPX pushing back above 28.50. 28.74 is where we are right now. So we're seeing the SPX up better than 5% from the lows on Monday. So we're seeing a significant increase in realized volatility this week, even though it's to the upside. VIX actually up on the day, and I think re the part of the reason is it's because of this increase in realized volatility. VIX 16.20 right now. We did see it down the low 15s to start today, but now we're seeing it strengthen as we move through the day. So we got a market up and the VIX up, but I think it's primarily due to the fact that we're seeing this increase in realized volatility. And also, now with this number this morning, the Fed's in play. I think it pushes their timeline more forward on the curve, and now the expectations are for a rate cut sooner rather than later. And if that comes, then you're going to see some further volatility in the markets. It could be the upside, it could be the upside than the downside, but I think you're seeing uh, market participants starting to price in the probability of a rate cut coming sooner rather than later. Looking at um, BVIX, measured implied volatility in the VIX options, 84 half right now. Now that's at the low end of the range this week, folks, and a 97 half to start the week, so down significantly. And we are seeing those VIX futures now moderate now that we're seeing the cash come under a little bit of pressure. Uh, 1650 on the front month future, 1705 on that August future, so a contango, normal type of environment, but enough cushion to kind of counteract some of the intraday moves in the VIX cash. July is where the action is in the call side. July 20s and 25 calls. Today, that's where the big volume is. August 15 puts as well is where the volume is on the put side in the August complex. Next week, PPI, CPI, early in the week, retail sales later in the week, U.S.-China negotiations, U.S.-Mexico uh, negotiations, and central banks and the Fed I think will be in focus as well when you look at the volatility structure.